Oh, this is resurrection for you. This is your resurrection Sunday. Get up off your back. Resurrect. <laughs> Resurrect. Stand up. Resurrect. I was listening to, uh, uh, I never listened to WLOU. I never listened to that. You can't sound that's death. It's on there talking about burying people. And I ain't going to be no friend to no funeral mortuary. Your past will not be friends with them. I ain't going to be no friend with no funeral home. I ain't talking about burying you. That's just a bad spirit. So anyway, they on there talking about, but I was listening to it, just happened to be listening to it yesterday, and there was a girl on there praying to the ancestors. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you, it's on there. And I said, oh, have we gotten this far? Do we not understand well, witchcraft and idolatry? I said, she was I mean, she was praying up a storm to the ancestors. And I said, how is this on those Christian stations? But because people don't know nothing, and we just, you know, we don't mix politics with Christianity and black pride and civil rights and all that's mixed together. Uh, we don't have no sense of standard of the word. We don't know what the Bible says, and anybody can come in. This is that when the Bible talks about seducing spirits and all that comes in the church and turns people away from God um, through some type of a fallacy, a fable, a foolishness. And um, and when I heard that, I was saying, "Dang, that's very bold for the devil to do this right on right out." Nobody nobody challenged that. And I don't listen to it. Maybe that's why nobody challenged it. But nobody challenged that. And I said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm gonna say something. They going they ain't gonna like me anyway. But I'm gonna definitely say something because that is definitely idolatry, it's idol worship. It's the same thing our ancestors did in Africa, which is what got us conquered. That's why we went into slavery because of it's idolatry. Any any people that goes into idolatry will be conquered. The price of idolatry is conquered. You get conquered by another people and become servants." Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why Africa is so messed up today because they still over there got their shrines and got they they still worshiping idols and stuff like that. They, the, the, the father still dedicate his children to the marine kingdom. And, and so it's generations and generations of demons in the lives of black folk because we still messing with idols. So, so when she started doing talking about ancestor worship, you know, that's that's the core of voodoo. And so I'm saying, how is she on her releasing curses on with a voodoo, not realizing that that there is no worship and no, no, no ancestors are not following you. They're dead. They ain't coming back. Man has once to die, then the judgment. So once a person dies, you ain't talking to them. What you're talking to is the spirit. What they communicating with or worshiping or saying, guiding them is a devil. That new grandmama. Amen. Amen. I don't want to talk about this. Now we need to talk about this, black folk, and we into some what I call Christian spiritism. It's not spirituality, it's spiritism. Now y'all heard what I'm saying? So we're mixing it all together, and so we can the Bible says it like this with God, with, with our tongue, we bless God, and we also curse man. That's that dual, uh, that dual religiosity where we are Christian over here, but we have pagan practices. Now, paganism is uh, paganism means any 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 people or person who believes in polytheist polytheism, which means many gods. They are considered pagans or heathens. This is what the Bible calls Gentiles. These people had no covenant with God because of their worship of all these other deities and demons and, and uh, idols and statues and all of this stuff they were worshiping. And so, and that's why the first uh, the, the, uh, God gave them a commandment that, that you worship the Lord only. Yeah. Only you worship him with all that heart, mind, all that about everything, worship him only. You got that? Yeah. It was a way of distinguishing his people from the pagans, the, all them Ites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, all these people that were in the lands of Egypt and Canaan and all the places that they had to go. They had to keep fighting these Ites and these were, these were, uh, these were uh, um, 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 polytheistic uh, uh, worshippers. They worshipped the stars. They worshipped uh, uh, the moon. They worshipped phalluses. They were anything. They were anything but God. They are worshipping. Amen? Amen? And so God destroyed them. That's why they have to dig them up. Why do you think they got to keep digging up folk? They got to go over and dig up and find lost cities because the city was lost. It wasn't lost. It was buried. God destroyed the cultures because they were worshipping devils. Amen. Paul says when you sacrifice to an idol, are you not sacrificing the demons? Are you, come on, talk to me. Amen. They're mighty funny when the little girl on X's head spent around. We believe that. But when the pastor tell you that 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 that, 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 that you sitting up here chanting and playing with Ouija boards and going to psychics and tarot cards, say amen, amen. And, and talk and trying to find somebody to talk to the dead for you that you are also invoking devils. Oh well, no, that's just not amen. mighty funny. What we do for pleasure, we protect even though it's sin. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So many of us got devils in our life because we meddling with things God said don't mess with. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, what a word on Easter. Y'all want that get, getting up morning sermon? No sir, I don't preach like that. I'm, I'm gonna have my sermons always the same. Gonna always be tough. You are gonna have to, you know. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Amen. Anyway, so I wanted to show you something because some of you all, you gotta, you gotta be careful. The Bible says uh, 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 when they asked Jesus uh, about the last days, he said, uh, "Be not deceived." The Bible says, "In the last days there'll be many deceivers." So you have to know what the what because people are coming with the spiritism and you don't really understand. They're using pop words, buzzwords, Christian words. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? And most of this spiritism, most of this voodoo, hoodoo, all these little root working, all this stuff that your mom and them used to do and grandmama and them did, and that old southern slave stuff, most of that stuff is rooted in Christianity. They, they, they use Christianity to mask it, to hide it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Especially Catholicism, but they use those, uh, uh, make like it's, it's, it's spirit, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, make to, to make to mask it so people would know they were actually talking about the worship of idols. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so you have to know that because, you know, these people will come and talk about, yeah, I love Jesus. I know, yeah, Jesus is, you know, I love, but you don't know there's five, six different types of Jesus they're talking about. There's a new age Jesus called Sonata. There's a Mithra called Jesus. All kinds of people. Everybody's going to be looking for Jesus. That's why he said when I come, when they say that I'm in the desert, don't go because everybody's going to be saying I'm Jesus. Why do you think they keep talking about Jesus? If Jesus wasn't real, why don't they leave Jesus alone? Why do we keep talking about Jesus? Why are the rappers is down to Jesus? Why are everybody talking crazy about Jesus? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Even these people that's supposed to be the alien abducted, they come talking about the aliens abducting them. The alien was talking about don't like Jesus. That would let me know Jesus was real. Why is everybody focused on him after all of this? If he wasn't real, we would be done with talking about him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all there? So you have to understand uh, who people are talking about when they, when they talk about Jesus or use these spiritual jargon because they could be talking about another Jesus. Are y'all there? Let me give you this and we're going to turn over here. Philippians, I say Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse uh, 10, real quick. 2 and 10. Verse 9. As God, as a result, God exalted him and gave him a name that is above every name. As a result, why? Because verse 8 says he humbled himself, became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. As a result of that, of, of that humiliation. Uh, God gave him a name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and even under the earth. Amen. That's the highest authority. Amen. That's why they don't want you. That's why they don't want the kids to mention it. That's why they want to take, take it out of, you know, they want to take anything Christ out of everything. They don't want you to mention They want the name to be blotted out. Amen. Because the Bible says when you smitch in the name, demons will tremble. Amen. Amen. They hate that name. Why? Because authority will come with that name. They understand who is the conqueror. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you teach your children nothing, teach them to call on the name. Yeah. Teach them to call on the name. When they get in trouble, learn to say the name. Yeah. Sad they're getting in trouble, don't know what name to call. Don't know, they don't know who God is. Yeah. Call on the name of Jesus. Amen? Yeah. All right, let me show you something here. Turn over here. So come turn me down a little bit. I'll turn these monitors down. Not me, but the monitor a little bit. Okay, go over to 2 uh, uh, Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11, we're going to start at, we're going to start at verse uh, 3. Are y'all there? Amen. Say, know no. the name no. for yourself. No. Know the name for yourself. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? You know, the Bible talks about there was uh, 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 some men that tried to cast out some devils. Uh, and they said, we cast him, we, we, gonna, we want you devils to come out of this person by the name that Paul preaching about. They didn't know the name for themselves. Bible says that, 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 that demon possessed man just dumped on him and ripped them, rent them, tore them up. Why? Because they didn't know the name for themselves. It's not enough to hear about the name or know him through somebody else. You got to know for yourself the power that's in the name. Are y'all understand what I'm saying? Look at, look at verse look at verse 2. Now verse 3 says, But I'm afraid that just as a serpent deceived Eve by his treachery, your minds may be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus, different from the one we proclaimed, or if you receive, now listen, now, now Paul is talking about, now somebody, now people, in other words, people are going to come all the time and talk about another Jesus. That's why these, these false religions have to do something with Jesus. The, the Muslims have to make him a teacher. The Jews have to make him a, a, a what, Jews uh, make him a heretic, actually. They literally th say he was a crazy heretic. Same as Paul, they say he was a crazy heretic. Um, but everybody has to do something with Jesus because uh, uh, they know it's all about Jesus. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So they know they can't stop you from, from knowing that name, but they can stop, they can mix you up on who you're talking about. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So as we come closer to Christ coming, you're going to see many Jesuses. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? And you're going to have to know which Jesus are they talking about because everybody, uh, the, 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 the Buddha, the Buddha, uh, the, the um, the, the Buddhists believe there's a teacher coming. The Muslim believe the Muhaddin is coming, a great teacher. Are y'all there? Nation of Islam believe a great teacher is coming. Um, who else? The Hindus believe that the Shiva's coming. Everybody believe, every religion believes somebody's coming. And they all say he's this great teacher, this great enlightened one. Are y'all there? This is why they got the false image of Jesus in your mind. Because that's what the Jesus is going to look like, the false one is coming. Like the one you've always seen. That's why you all... Oh. That's why you ain't going to be able to recognize him because he's going to be here going to look like what you thought he looked like. Are y'all there? Can, can we go deeper? 
uh, Pope Alexander had a son named Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia was a homosexual. He had a lover called Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, the one that wrote that stupid da Vinci code, got people even believing in more stupid stuff. He, 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 was, he, had, a love, he, he, was a, he had a love affair with Caesar Borgia. He the one who painted the I image of the Jesus that we see all the time. Amen. Say amen. amen. Yes, that white, long-haired, blue-eyed Jesus was painted, was, was an image of Caesar Borgia, the Pope's son, or the son of God, which means he's the son of the Pope because they believe the Pope was God, right? Amen. That's the image that has permeated, we grew up with it. When we close our eyes, that's the image we see. It's very important that they never destroy the image. In the Catholic Church, he's on the cross. Every time you see him in any religious setting, he's walking with no with sandals, and he has the same look. And you never thought who 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 came up with this with the same look? Amen. Why? Because they're getting you used to this same look. Because this is the way Satan is gonna have to show up as that angel of light to deceive people to make him think. Why you think Jesus said, "Take heed that no man deceive you"? When they say Christ is in the desert, Amen. don't go. He said, "When I come east, you are gonna see me like the lightning strike across the sky." I ain't I ain't gonna hide. Y'all there? Why? Because in the last days, people are going to be confused and deceived about who, who is Jesus. Y'all there? Oh, I could go some different places here. Are y'all understanding what I'm trying to say? And so, this is the reason why, uh, through Hollywood and through media, uh, matter of fact, I was watching something, my wife was watching something on Fox News, and uh, NASA, she was a commentator on there, and she said, uh, Jesus is white, and Santa Claus is white. Don't y'all know that? <laughs> she said it as if it was a fact, as if nobody ever knew who Caesar Borgia was. You know why she said that? Because she grew up with the same image. She didn't know that, that Pope Alexander, they, changed, they knew that over in the tombs and Vatican's of Rome, especially the, the street of the tombs that go down, they go down that, that city in Rome, I mean that, that, that road in Rome where all the saints were painted black first. It's very important that you understand what I'm saying. Satan has to masquerade as the real thing. So he's got a counterfeit picture in your head already about who this Christ is. And when he shows up like this, this is who the Antichrist is. He's going to come as the Christ. Are y'all there? Can we talk or not talk about this? So look at this. So verse 4, he says, for someone comes and proclaims another to another Jesus. Now this is the reason why we have so many different denominations and religions and all of these different sects and uh, 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 philosophies because Satan is trying to muddy the waters. Listen to me. He's muddy in the water. He's making it so murky that you don't, there's so many different things that you're going to just be confused. And most people are so confused with it, they give up because like, man, this is, uh, they said they was right. They said they was right. They said they was right. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why the Bible says narrow is the way to lead an everlasting life if you find it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. there? Yeah. Now, so, so, so this is the reason why so many people are so confused now is because through, through every medium, through every uh, uh, music and TV, everybody's talking about a Jesus, a Jesus. Some type of Jesus. You don't think they talking about Jesus, but they are. You even have a Jesus. Amen. You have a Jesus that's okay with how you live. Amen. Not a Jesus that said, if you love me, keep my commandments. We don't know that Jesus. The one that came and said, I don't come to bring peace, but a sword or division. We don't know that Jesus. Not the Jesus that called people fools and, and vipers and threw over tables and hit people with sticks and ran them out of the temple. We don't know that Jesus. But we know the Jesus that's okay with our sexual sin. We know the Jesus that winks. Oh, don't matter to talk about this. We know that Jesus. Ah. Oh. See, the real Jesus we don't know, so we all have a Jesus. And you push your own personal brand of Jesus. Are you there? Mighty funny, your Jesus doesn't convict you of what you do, but you sure can see what others do. Are y'all there? The same, Jesus that the same Jesus that comforts you for being a baby mama is not the same Jesus that said you shouldn't have laid down there. We got to, oh, if anybody comes to preach another Jesus. Uh, I don't mind what talk about this. Does anybody want to talk about this? The same Jesus that didn't show up to help you get out of, get out of jail was well, the same Jesus that said, don't sell it. Amen. Two different. No, no, no. We only know the one Jesus, the one that makes us feel comfortable and good about where y'all don't want to talk or not. Does anybody want to talk or not talk about it? See, see everybody has their own. See, the whole question is what you going to do with Jesus. That's the whole point. Because you're going to have to do something with him. You're going to have to accept him or reject him. Or you're going to have to change him. To make him fit your philosophy or your lifestyle or basically your sin. So the homosexuals have a homosexual Jesus. Talk to me. Are y'all there? The stripper has a stripping Jesus. Are y'all there? The drug addict has a crackhead Jesus. He just, he's okay with what I do. He loves me anyway. That's the crackhead Jesus. Not the Jesus that says come out of your sin. Come out from among them and be ye separate. And be ye holy for I am holy saith the Lord. No, we don't know that Jesus. This is the reason why many, he's going to say on that day, Lord, Lord, many going to say on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils? He's going to say, get away from me, you seek of iniquity. I don't know you. 
you thought you knew me, but I didn't know you because you didn't know me as who I am. Amen. Say amen. amen. I, yes, I'm the Jesus that said I'll stick with you. I'll be with you uh, uh, closer than a brother. But I'm also the Jesus that said if you call your brother a fool, you're going to hell. Amen. Why is it that we only see the one side? See, that's, that's, that's the craftiness of Hollywood and media is to show you the good side, the blessing side, the forgiveness side, the love side. But don't show me the judgment side, even though judgment is definitely. So now we got the majority of the church does not believe in a judgment. They don't believe there's a judgment coming, even though that's what Jesus was talking about most of the time. But they don't believe there's a judgment. Are y'all there or not there? So we have. So when I was listening to this radio, I said, she's on her. I said, but see, they, see, this is a different Jesus. See, this is the ancestor Jesus he's talking about. This ain't the Jesus that said, have no other God before me. This ain't the one that said, don't be, don't be, don't be worshiping the dead. That should kill your ancestor worship right there. Don't consult the, the dead on the behalf of the living. That's called a, a necromancer. Somebody with a spirit of divination. Consulting, the, not the, listen, say the spirits of the dead. Now that's not talking about the, the person dead spirit. It's talking about the spirit that was in the person that died. There's a demon that knew the person that died. That's the spirit you consulted. Does anybody want to talk about this? Are y'all there? And so what are we going to do with Jesus? Let's keep going. Can we keep going for a minute? Amen. Look at this. Uh, it says, uh, uh, for if one comes and proclaims another Jesus different from the one we proclaim, or if you receive a different spirit than the one you receive, or a different gospel than the one you accepted, you, you putting up with it. Look at it. You putting up with that. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Amen. So, different spirit, different gospel. You putting up with it. Yes. And I said, Lord, is it, is it, is it possible? Now, I'm going to say something going to mess y'all up today, which is my specialty, but I'm going to do it. Is it possible that the majority of the church is being used to keep people from knowing God? Because when I was listening to the radio, I didn't hear any enlightenment. What are, I'm saying, what are you teaching? What are the people hearing? What are they, what are they, it's a bunch of music and, you know, trying to motion. What, what, what are you saying? Because nobody jumped up and said, girl, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are praying to devils. Nobody, nobody rebuked that. That let me know something's wrong. Something's wrong. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? And so I thought about it. I thought about, I, I took it in the term that I, that, I, that, I, that I understand a little bit better. I said, well, when I was in the street, you know, almost 20 years ago, I used to sell drugs. And I said, you know, we had these guys out there when we first started selling drugs, and we called them the shortstoppers. These are the, these are the fools that jump in cars and sell dope to people and get locked up and get robbed, <laughs> get, get shot and pulled off on all. These are them, these are them. We called them the, the, the shortstoppers. Usually they, 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 I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. They product was probably inferior, so they, they had to hustle hard and, and take risk. We said, take the shortstop, and now y'all there. Now their whole goal was to keep those people from coming to get something raw, real. They were shortstoppers. The same way we had that in the world, the same way it is in the church. We have some ministries, some priests are just shortstoppers. They stopping people from going on with God, stopping people from growing up, stopping people from knowing the word. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I got like 800 people on, 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 on following me on, on YouTube now. And that's what they're all telling me. You preach something we've never heard. I said, well, what do you mean you ain't never heard this? This is the Bible. Amen. But people will sit in a shortstop church because it caters to their emotion or makes them feel good. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But when these people have true, listen, I'm going to show you shortstopping. Y'all ready? I'm going to show you. When a person, see, you're going to go through somewhere, you're going to really need a word or really need the truth on. Say amen. When you go to the preacher or go to somebody who's supposed to be a Christian to say, and you tell them what, what you're really going through, they're going to have to tell you the truth because the truth is really what's supposed to set you free. But because they don't want to offend you and they want you to be around them, and they, they're not going to tell you the truth because they don't want to hurt your feelings. Well, that's going to keep you in bondage. That's how you shortstop people. You keep them from, are y'all, is this making any sense? Are y'all there? So we have another gospel, y'all. We have another gospel. One, one of the gospels I've seen is, the good news is, that uh, you go to church and you can find you a good man. That's sort of a gospel. That's what most people go to church for. Look how, look how people dress. Then I'll tell you what they're going for. When you go to the club, what are they, what, how, they, how are you dressing? You're dressing to catch one. If you want the same thing to the club, to the church, then what are you going to church for? You try to catch one. So, we, so now we have a club gospel. And because we because we 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 okay with short stopping, uh, we we okay with the short stop gospel. That's a good word. The short stop. <laughs> I might write it. That's a book title. The short stop gospel. Because we okay with the short stop gospel, uh, we're never convicted by what we how we how we approach the things of God. Approach God. Are y'all there? I told you the other day we was going out. I was riding home, and I and I said, Lord, now I was serious. And this is the first time I, I don't know. I said, Lord, where have we been? I said, because I ain't never seen nobody dressed like this going to church. 
I said, Lord, now I understand, you know, my, I'll tell you all the time, my wife is a pretty woman. You know, my daughters are beautiful. I don't have no problem with a woman being pretty. They got you. I'm not one of them type preachers. Okay? Don't, don't have a problem with it. But I said, Lord, this is ridiculous. How can these brothers focus? It's too much butt and titties and butt. It's too much and too much glamour, too much attention is being drawn. How can we worship God if we lift our hands, our panties come off? How can we? Y'all want to talk about this. What if the Lord say, I want you to kneel down? You can't kneel down. And then the brothers, you see the brothers after church, the brothers are walking. And the sisters are walking them down. You know, leaning over, talking to brothers in the car, you know. I, this is stuff I observe out of, out of our so-called going to church stuff we do. I, I got no problem being looking nice, wearing fashion, ain't got no problem. But it seems like we have another gospel. Because the Bible says no flesh should glory in my presence. In other words, God says, even God told the children of Israel, when y'all come visit me, put some clothes on. God told them, put your clothes on. Because the pagans, that's how they worship their uh, gods. Through nakedness and revelry and fornication and sexual lust. He said, I don't want to see your flesh in my presence. The Bible said, no flesh gets credit or glory in my presence. So what gospel do we have if nobody knows that? Say amen. Are y'all there? Oh, thank you, Lord. Let me, let me, let me, let me, I'm going to close with this. I know it's Easter. Y'all got dinners on and stuff is happening. And, you know, y'all ready to eat pot roasts and crock pots. It's, 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 it's turning over. You know, so I'm going to get done. I want to eat too. Turn over here real quick. I'm going to close with this. And this is the Holy Spirit word right here because I didn't have this. No, no, I'm talking about this, this scripture, this, this, this word right here. Um, go over here to um, let's see okay let's see uh, James I think I'm going to James yeah James chapter 3 Let's turn our Bibles. That's a problem in church. Amen. If you don't have Bibles no more. If you don't have Bibles, don't know the Bible. I guess any, so I, anybody can preach a Jesus to you if you don't know the Bible. Amen. Anybody can preach a Jesus to you. See, my job as a preacher, I found out something about myself. My job as a preacher is not to necessarily pacify people. I found that out. That's why we ain't got 2,000 members here. Because I don't pacify people. Those people will stay immature all their life and raise up immature people and the devil will destroy their families because they I want to be pacified versus challenged. Amen. So every time I preach, it's to challenge you to get closer to God, to come out of sin, to change your life. Say amen. amen. That's what my job is as a preacher. So uh, it doesn't sit well in this generation where you got Baskin Robin churches, where it's your flavor, whatever you want it, any kind of way. You know, that's hard to preach this type of message, but that's all right. Because I feel like people are coming around. People maybe want to hear the truth now. We are at the end of the world. I mean, you still want the truth if you're at the end. I mean, you know, we ain't where we was 30 years ago. We at the end. I would want some truth. Look at this verse, chapter 3 of James, verse uh, 15. Are you there? Verse 14. But if you have bitter, in, bitter jealousy and selfishness in your heart, let me read this out of my King James Version. What's going on here? Okay. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart's glory, not in lying, not against the truth, this wisdom descended not from above, but it's earthly sensual and devilish earthly say earthly, earthly. sensual earthly. and devilish Devils. so there's an earthly gospel there's a sensual gospel and there's a devilish gospel and we know the devilish gospel the bible says that that's uh, uh the doctrines that demons teach so we know there's a devilish gospel in other words there are, there are literally churches of preachers that preach uh, uh, uh basically preach um against the word of god let's just say it like that Amen. i'm not worried about them you can spot them it's easy to spot them. You got any type of spirituality, you can spot that. Um, but the ones that's hard to spot are the sensual and the earthly. This wisdom that's worldly. This is what we have grown up under. This superstitious, common, what we call common sense, superstitious wisdom. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is more, that's more dangerous than the, even the doctrine of a devil. Because most of us, our families have stayed in bondage because of this sensual, earthly wisdom. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Big mama dreamed of fish. Somebody pregnant. That's called divination. 
it's a it's a evil that we are not supposed to operate out of that. That's just like a person just consulted, uh, 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 um, um, just did some type of uh, 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 how they divine for or uh, find out stuff by uh, casting lots or no, not casting lots, but they cut. They used to cut liver, cut uh, liver, uh, the uh, kidneys out of an animal and read it, and say, and they how they divine the future. That's what that's what we're doing with that. But we're led by that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's one of the most dangerous things about the black race is that we stick to these traditions. Even when we know they are wrong, we stick to them. Let me show y'all some earthly sensual wisdom. Girl, don't marry him. You know, y'all need to live together for a while. Amen. Amen. Earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom. Knowing we got a problem with all these kids out of wedlock, but let's, let's keep trying it out. Earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom. You ain't got, I'm going to tell you how you know because the majority of the people will agree with it. That's why you know it's worldly. It's of this world. The world will agree. Y'all there or not there? Are y'all there? Amen. Let me give you some more earthly or sensual wisdom. Shoot, if, if, I, if, shoot, if you got a strip to get that money to take care of your kid, then you got to do it. Right. Y'all know y'all be agreeing with that stuff. You got to do what you got to do. And I'm sitting there like, honey, you know there's, I see Han signs everywhere. <laughs> you just want to, you just getting off showing me in your body. Don't try to put it on no, what would you if you had a man, baby at home is hungry, and the only way to feed him was a, no, you ain't the only way to feed no child. We got food stamps. See, but do you see the earth, the wisdom that will make a person think this is, you know, justified? That ain't the only way to feed no child. And, and, and your child ain't, ain't benefiting off them 17 inch heels you got on. But they throw that earthly central wisdom up and we just accept it. And never question it. Y'all got there not there. Let me give you a little bit more. Because, you know, black folk, we need to identify our foolishness. No white man ain't got nothing out there for. That's why we sell dope. Cause ain't <laughs> white man ain't left nothing there. Why? Well, do it. That's what they. Your kids ain't benefiting off them fat fifty inch wheels, Amen. riding around with skittles on your car. That's kids ain't benefiting off of that. You a kid, <laughs> riding around with SpongeBob on you. That's stupid. That's a ten thousand dollar paint job on a one thousand dollar car. You do the math. But yet. It's earthly, sensual foolishness. Well, you know, the, it's wisdom. It's their wisdom. Well, you know, ain't, ain't nothing out here for us, so we got to get down and grind. No, you no, you just want to do that. Amen. You talking to somebody who did it, you want to do that. Because that's work at McDonald's. Amen. I ain't working at McDonald's. Well, go down there and penitentiary work for 75 cents a, a, a month or a week. Then I'm out of... I almost got them cigarette money, man, please. You could be out here working for $10 an hour. You Shoot. Because if you're too cool to work at McDonald's, you got to be out your mind. Go down there and sit there in front of the judge hard. I'll give you 50 years. Give, give him 50. He ain't going to blink at it. That's why if I was, these guys are so tough. If I was in court, man, if I was in front of the judge and I knew I was making this man, I would break down. I would break, even if it was an act. I would try to let him know I'm fighting for my life. Man, please, look, man, I got kids. I go, man, I messed up. Man, please, you know, I'll do all that. These Negroes are so proud. Don't, they, they know when they get in that cell and it hit them. I got 25 years. Man, this is day one. Man, check me all kinds of tears. And we're going to be calling the whole. Girl, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, girl. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know you ain't going to wait. I know you. Silly Negro. You should have fell on the mercy of the coin. I did it. I'm sorry. I'm going to stand there in your pride. Get 50 years. The devil is alive. Ain't even smart enough when you caught to humble yourself. <laughs> Let me get on. Lord, how did I get on that? Are y'all there? Amen. So, <laughs> oh, earthly or earthly sexual wisdom. Just some examples. You know, uh, let me give you some more earthly wisdom. Y'all there? <laughs> they killed themselves because people bullied them. That's earthly foolishness. Amen. Everybody in here was a bully or got bullied. Amen. That's just the way it is. It's called a rite of passage. Somebody don't like you, and somebody gonna talk about you, and somebody gonna ride you out, and you either learn to fight or you learn to throw jokes, but you gotta do one. But I ain't killing myself because you on that type of something about you got to be crazy. I can cut this off, man. I can delete you. I ain't gotta hear what you say about me. I give me some new, I will move. I ain't dying over no words. You got your mind. I killed myself when they were talking about they bullying me. Man, we had to fight every day. You had to run and fight. You live up in Clarksdale, you had to fight all the clans. Look at four clans. You fight one, you fight everybody. You fight every day. All day, every day. You never ran home and told your mama. You couldn't go home and tell your mama. My mama didn't even know we fought as much as we fought. We just just fighting. 
And we had to learn. And if you couldn't fight, we, that's why we learned to throw jokes. Over here, you had to learn to fight and throw jokes. Because the jokes lead to a fight. <laughs> you know what do big jokes? You know a good joke, a true joke, where his shoe, his foot really was coming out of his shoe. Oh, you got to fight. You going to fight, yo. We weren't killing ourselves. That's an earthly sister with foolish wisdom. Well, I'll fix you. That ain't fixing nobody. You're the fool. Because you just committed a sin you can't repent of. Did you know the second that they opened their eyes in eternity, it was a mistake? Soon they jump off every oh my God. It was just a demon motivating you to feel depressed and be selfish and fool, focus on yourself. And I'm going to hurt them. I hurt myself. And people be hurt, but they'll live. They'll go on and you'll be dead. You're killing yourself with somebody bullying you. Change schools. They only bullying you because you tell too much of your business on there anyway. Why you always want to tell your business? You want, people to, you want people to be jealous of you. That's why they, when people see that you vain, they're going to they gonna, they gonna find a string and pull on it until they ride you out. Why would you put on all these boys you've been with then get mad when somebody call you whores and, 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 and take pictures of you doing what you do? No need to be in a whore in the dark. It, and y'all little young girls are so silly because these young boys be doing that. They be catching y'all baby in the closet and be catching y'all doing what y'all do. Then they put it out there for your mom and them to see y'all. Oh, I don't know about this. Now I'm going to kill myself. No! Walk through the humiliation. You did it. No, no don't take the easy way out. You, that will let you know don't do that again. You won't be hot, hiding in closets and go up in little hoopty cars and go in basements with boys. Okay, when they take pictures of you and put you on the internet, don't say they raped you. You enjoyed yourself. You just didn't know it was going to get out. They ain't give you no molly. You was in your right mind. You want to be hot. And that, 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 that horror spirit has a way of get, taking you beyond where you wanted to go. You just flirting with these brothers and they like, oh, she's live. Take her to the ranch. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> That's what we used to call them up here. We used to live up here years ago. These old apartments went up by living as the ranch. Oh, she live. Take her, let's take her to the ranch. And she's she with it because she want attention. Ain't nobody told her job worth. So don't be saying these boys are raped. Why, why am I getting on this stuff? But y'all see that stuff in the news? They ain't rape me. They ain't rape you. You, you got caught being a whore. I said it. If you get caught being a whore, don't scream rape. You just shouldn't have been where y'all. You was in a compromising position. And these boys, and ain't that funny how y'all think y'all getting attention? These boys, it's baiting y'all on the fight and take pictures of y'all and put it on world style, put it on internet while y'all out there fighting and looking crazy as young girls. Y'all to be ashamed of yourself. What happened to the, with the virtue, the gentleness, the, the womanness, the, 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 you watch those videos on YouTube, it's always a bunch of boys standing around, ooh, and, and egging the girls on, they just fighting. Used to be boys fighting, boys ain't fighting no more, it's the girls fighting. Pulling each other's hair, all that, all her, just her everywhere, like a massacre on the ground. <laughs> Me two girls fighting, like 10 people got killed right here, it's all her, all, all kind of her out here. And then, and you know, I don't even understand, why am I getting on this? I don't understand why y'all fight, y'all ain't gonna do no pull each other's hair, that's, that's so stupid. Yo, her, what's he going And that's all the fight is. It's a bunch of her pulling. And now you got patches missing and, you know, looking funny and weird. And you have exposed your secret. <laughs> your braids that came out and tracks that fell out. And all kinds of, your, your sewing is unsewn. And everybody see your scalp is bald and you messed up. Because you won't fight. Why y'all so tough, little girl? Stop fighting so much. Let me get it. I was even watching some of the mamas out there egging the girl on to fight. I couldn't believe that the mama's egging on the fight. Brought the girl to the fight. So then somebody said, just jumped off the car on the mom. Just go and grab her too and just do her up. Because she grew up that way where nobody ever, you know. Y'all ain't even smart enough to know when the police come to stop. Then they have to tase you. And then they on the ground, oh, he tased me. When the police said, stop. But y'all black women don't think nothing can happen to y'all. That's what y'all really got that bad. Y'all don't think stuff can happen to y'all. Y'all think, hey, they ain't going to do that for the men. No, they would tase you. And you be on the ground shaking. And all of a sudden, the woman come back in you. Oh, I got kids. Well, why'd you think about that for you? I heard hitting these girls with two by four. Why'd you think about your kids? Lord, earthly wisdom. And y'all know y'all be looking up to them girls doing it. The ones that's tough, y'all look up to that stuff. That's foolishness. What a man want that? Man want that? That's just a jump off chick, something to knock off quick. <laughs> Smash and roll and just go back to your main girl. Because she ain't worth it. Y'all bet that's what y'all, that's all you become you. Y'all, uh, you know, you know, y'all you know, know it's true because see, y'all watching these funny movies and you know stuff like Scandal, 
Well, this girl's a style for being a side chick. A side chick. And some of y'all okay with being side chicks now. The Bible prophesied about this last day that seven women will join, will come to one man and say, look, man, marry us. Which shows you the laws of marriage going to be messed up in the last days. Seven women will ask one man to marry them. Just please take away our shame. Some of y'all, that's, that, that's sensual wisdom. That's side chick stuff. And, and to be honest, most, most of the women in church be side chicks. Amen. They be side chicks. Sitting there waiting on that man for years and years and years. And he creep around because he know you clean. Ooh, why am I going out with this? He know you live right. You ain't got no other man. And you at home on a Saturday night. You always where he can find you. And you become the side chick. What's that chick in the Bible? Her name was Leah. You become Leah. The side chick of Rachel. When Jacob just wanted to get a jump off, he Leah. The Bible said Leah was cock at it. Didn't look as good as Rachel. So the Bible, she was cock at it. Didn't look very good, but she must have had a nice body because Jacob jumped off, had sons by Leah. And she had to be content in life to be the sad chick. Some of y'all, because y'all watching this scandal and all these shows where they're getting that in y'all head, that this be some sad chick. Man, you ought to have more steam. I'd rather be celibate. I'd rather be celibate. If I can't have you all, I don't want you at all. I'd rather be celibate. Ooh-wee. 